Glenn, congratulations. A stunning performance here at the Betfred World Match Play. Have you just sent out a huge statement to the rest of the field? Um, I've sent out a statement to myself, Phil. I, I felt good up there. It's, um, you know, PDC Sky have done an amazing job with the whole theatre. The whole, honestly, it felt like I was playing in front of a PDC crowd. I know I'm playing well. I know I can finish as good as anybody. James Wade-esque is what people are calling me right now. If I can improve my scoring, um, then, then I can be a force to be reckoned with. I've got an unbelievable second game to come, but I sit here right now, Phil, I'm delighted. Nearly 107 average, all bar a few points, 40% of your doubles. Is that one of your most complete PDC performances we've seen today? I think so. And there'll be so many people saying, because there's no crowd, but it felt like there was a crowd there behind us. Um, I feel good, I feel healthy, I feel fit, uh, I'm playing well, and uh, that, that's a big, big win for me. Though. You just see by your whole demeanour, the smile on your face, you're ecstatic about this. Yeah. How far can you go? Um, if I'm not here to win it, then what's the point in playing? And I listened to all the sayings, uh, and I heard that one a few days ago. It'd be a sad day, the day that I'm, you know, I'm playing darts just to be a, an also run. Um, I wish I could also say I'm either winning right now, but I can't look ahead of Peter or Jose because that's going to be an unbelievable game. But um, it's warm. I love it warm. Hotter the better, you know, for me. And uh, I'll take some beating. Whoever beats me, if they beat me, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll take some doing. I feel, I feel marvellous. Speaking of the Peter Jose game, that's going to be mine for already. You going to stick around to watch it to see when you play? No, no, I've got a pot noodle waiting for me now. I, 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 I'm boring. I, I'm just gonna go and lay on my bed now and probably be put, you know, the, the dart on and um, I, I, I just do things that probably dart players don't do. And I'm pretty like methodical in throw, methodical in what I do. But uh, the next hour's nice. You can answer your messages, speak to my wife, speak to Dennis. You know, all things like that. It's uh, uh, it's all good. Though. How do you see the game going between Peter and Jose? So I won't be surprised if Peter is the first seed to lose. Jose is that good, but Jose has not done it on the stage yet. He's playing our world champion. Our world champion who I respect so much. Um, uh, 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 and what, what, you know, whatever game that is, it's going to be uh, a, a really difficult game. And, uh, if I had to pick a winner, I'd say Peter because he's our champion, but I've just practiced with Jose. My God, I've played with the best. That guy does not realize how good he is and the future is very bright for Jose de Souza. Yeah, Yeah, I was thinking that last night and when Michael was losing to Brendan or Brendan could have been so far ahead at one point. Listen, you know, Michael Van Gerwen, Peter Wright number two, Gerwin Price number two. Can, they're unbelievable. There's no easy sort of section no more. Uh, I got interviewed by my local radio. Uh, you know, I couldn't have picked it. You know, there were 16 people I could have played. I wouldn't have been sort of happy with anybody. You know, I, I got Jeffrey to Swan and then people are messaging me. He's had uh, shoulder surgery. You'll be okay. And I'm like, I don't want to hear this. It's just about focusing on my own game. But uh, I'm, I'm dead chuffed. Dead chuffed. You mentioned Dennis, and I know you've got a lot of friends and family that attend the BBC Majors. What's it like not having them around on a personal level? Well, I've got, I've got Mac Elkin here. I've just signed a six year contract with him. I don't need anybody else around me, you know. I mean, I'd love my wife to be here. I'd love, I'd love, you know, I'd love Dennis to be here. But you know, it's a new phase of my life, and it means, you know, spending time with Mac and the team. You know, maybe that's a good thing for me. You know, there's sort of no pressure on me. I would love Susan to be here, uh, my wife. Um, but I've got the best manager in the world. Uh, I'm happy. I've signed a long-term contract. I can just focus on darts now and. Fingers crossed I can be a world match player champion.